our channel. Um, this is our first video, and we're super excited. It's going to be such a great channel. It's going to be a like collab. We're going to do all sorts of different things, and yeah, we're pumped. I'm excited. Yes, it's going to be great. You better be too. So yeah, our first video today, we're going to do a little bake with me slash Q&A. So we are making peanut butter banana chocolate chocolate chip cookies. So I'm very excited to see how these turn out because chocolate, peanut butter, and bananas are often like my three favorite foods. So yeah, like just a mashed banana, a half cup of peanut butter, um, quarter cup of cocoa powder, two tablespoons of maple syrup, and chocolate chips, and that's literally it. It's beautiful. Yeah. What could be better? Okay, so I'm gonna start mashing this banana, but we're gonna start answering some of your questions. How, if you could travel anywhere right now, where would you want to go? Ooh. I would go to Hawaii, Italy, or Greece. Those are my top three places I want to travel. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mine is also Hawaii, um, or Australia or New Zealand, because they're pretty, and I love surfers. We love surfers. Yes, we do. Especially surfer boys. Exactly, surfer boys. Fine. Okay, you. If you could be any fictional character, who would you be? Probably Katniss Everdeen, because she's really... She's awesome. Like, she's, like, really strong, and I just, like, I want to channel that in my life. I'm, like, the least assertive person that like, you will meet. Like, if I were in the Hunger Games, I would literally be like, I'm so sorry, just, like, do whatever you want with me, but, like, she... I mean, Kill me. She, exactly. But she, like, she's what I need to channel, so... Actually, that's so funny, because when I was younger, I used to wear... Well, I still do sometimes, like, mm -hmm. braids down the back of my head, like Katniss. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh my gosh, you look exactly like Katniss ever because I had her hair color. So, oh my gosh! That's funny, I just remembered that. She's a baby cactus. Or cactus? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Katniss. Katniss. Not cactus. Yeah. Amazing. Um, I would probably... I don't know, I have, an, I have a divergent obsession right now, I have for like the past year, mm -hmm. so I'd probably be Triss, because she is a badass, mm -hmm. first of all, mm -hmm. like she friggin' took down the evil witch girl, I forgot her name, um, but then also she is dating Thor, and he is the oh, yeah. hottest man I've ever seen in my life. Let's see, what sparked your interest in running and lifting? I'm a big runner, um, if you guys didn't know, and Kaylee is a bomb lifter. Um, she literally go follow her workouts. Like, I'm still sore. Like, I did one of her workouts the other day, her like dumbbell shoulder press, and I'm oh, so yeah. sore. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah, very sore. I actually like share my whole running journey and running story in Ruby's podcast, Ruby, um, Realistically Ruby. Um, called Sunny Side Up with Ruby, so go listen to that, but basically I actually grew up a gymnast, dancer, and cheerleader, and I got really into running um, after recovery from my eating disorder because I like I did running one year in high school, and I absolutely hated it. It was like my senior year, and I was totally under feeling, and so I got stress fractures, and I just like was not performing well, and I was like, why does this suck? It's like, oh, because I didn't eat anything beforehand, so like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So I just, I hated running. But then, like, after recovery from my eating disorder, you know, when I, like, I couldn't do gymnastics, couldn't do dance anymore, um, and I was really, like, being an athlete is a huge part of my life, um, and so I really wanted to, like, find what kind of, like, set my soul on fire again, I guess. And, like, I remember when my doctor cleared me to go running one time, I was like, I'm gonna train for the turkey trout with my family, and I just, like, fell in yes, love. Me. Yes, Yes. <laughs> um, and I did my first race, and it was, like, a 10K, and I loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, yep, this is my thing. So now I am a runner, and I will do it for the rest of my life. So it's kind of, like, my little, my little how I got interested. I first got into running in seventh grade because my mom has always been a runner so I wanted to join her and then but it started it was like fueled by my eating disorder in middle school um and so then I went into recovery I like went into the hospital for a little bit and obviously had to quit all exercise but then I got out and was weight restored and I was allowed to do sports again so I was like okay what sports do I want to do and before then I had always done soccer and dance but by then Things just got too competitive, and I was kind of like behind the eight ball. Like everyone else was on these travel teams and all that, and I just wasn't. So I was like, okay, what do I want to do that's a no-cut sport that I could maybe be kind of good at? So I was like, okay, let's try out running, because I was interested in it for a little bit. 
and my mom was really good at running in high school, so I was like, okay, let's do it. And so I started running, and it was really, really hard to get into at first because obviously running is hard. And I started becoming extremely injured, like chronically injured, was constantly, like I had tendonitis, I had like, I, I can't even remember everything about it, I had, like tendonitis, I had like five different stress fractures throughout all four years of high school. And it was all because I was continuing to underfuel and just not give my body what it needed to recover from each workout pretty much. Um, but then during this time, I found lifting because my cross country coach invited some weightlifting coaches to help us with like our running performance, and they taught us about weightlifting. So I got a little bit of ta a little taste of weightlifting then. But it was really my high school. It was my sophomore year of high school. My gym teacher, because I was in a physical conditioning mm -hmm. class. And he introduced us to weightlifting, how to like use proper form and stuff, and like how to structure workouts. And I literally fell in love with it. And it was so cool because it's like so random. Like yeah. just have, like a gym teacher, and like he just like explained that fitness and lifting in such a way that like really was like, whoa, like I can become like so much stronger. And I like saw the results because I started. We started doing like lifting tests, so we would like test our max, like mm -hmm. squat, the lift bench, mm -hmm. and like I could see how much stronger I was getting. And it was just the best feeling ever. So that's how I got the lifting. Oh, that's so awesome. I love that. Amazing. Okay, so we just added chocolate chips. Um, oh, I, I added two tablespoons of maple syrup <laughs> and a quarter cup of cocoa powder. Yes, a wow. quarter cup of cocoa powder. It's beautiful. It's okay, it's okay. Same. Um, okay, so the next question. How to balance workouts and social life in college? I don't like... I don't know. I You don't look at it as like a chore. Yeah. Like, you want to look exactly. at it as something that you just schedule into your day. Like you find something you really, really love to do and you're just like, okay, like I'm going to like set aside a half an hour to an hour for this workout and then go on with the rest of my day. I mean, that's it in. But it all depends on what time of day works best for you and your schedule and everything, so. Yeah, for sure. And, like, if you really aren't liking working out and, like, it's really hard to find time for it, like, find time for something that you, like, love to do. Because, like, if you, like, exactly, like, if you see it as a chore, then it's not going to be, it's, then maybe, like, you want to reassess your relationship with it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, of course, like, there's certain health conditions where it's, like, you need to, like, do certain workouts. But, I mean, like, exercise is so good for you. And just, like, remind yourself, like, how good you'll feel afterwards and stuff. And, like, first thing in the morning is always the best. Like, if you have no time, just, like, wake up 30 minutes earlier and, like, jog a mile. Like, there's always time to, like, jog a mile. And that's, like, or, like, do whatever you want. Go for a walk. Like, stretch. Like, mm -hmm. there's always time to do something. Um, so just, like, find that time and find just what makes you feel the best. So. Yes, yeah. and balance is important too. Don't yes. be afraid to go out with your friends and have a good time. Yeah. And like, you don't have to get mad at yourself, beat yourself up and compensate for it. Just live your life and have fun while you can. The yeah. gym will always be there. Your workout routine will always be there. But those opportunities to make memories, you know, they're once, like these opportunities are once in a lifetime. So exactly. don't stress about it. Yeah. We met through Instagram. I remember it so vividly. I remember getting a DM. Oh, I don't know. I think I just saw it in my DM requests, like, yeah. a few days later or something. Uh -huh. But, yeah, so she DM'd me, and she said that she went to a school close to me, and she wanted me to get the coffee. So I was like, oh, this girl seems so cute and so sweet and genuine. So I was like, of course. And, yeah, we ended up meeting for coffee, and we discovered that we are literally the exact same person. Like, yeah. everyone I know has said that. It's scary. Yeah. And she's, like, the blonde version of me. Yeah, it's insane. Like, yeah, it's actually kind of crazy. A lot of people say that we are, like, actually twins, which is, like, it's, it's really funny. It's, like, really scary. So, yeah. yeah, the rest is history. We met for coffee, and we became, like, best friends from there. So. And now we're besties. Yes, we are. Thank you, Instagram. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, so our next question is, do you guys go to the same school? No, wish we did. Sad. Yeah, it's really sad. Um, <laughs> I wish we did, but we went to undergrad, like, kind of near each other, so that was fun. Yeah. Yeah, we, like, we went 
to school 30 minutes away from each other, and now we live 30 minutes away from each other, so. Exactly. Okay, do you guys have boyfriends? Ha! Uh, no. Nope. <laughs> Tips for freshman year of college. I think I thought okay. switch off. Thank you. Yeah, so I would say just get involved right off the bat because I dealt with a lot of loneliness in college because I didn't really go into college with a ton of people that I knew. I did know my roommate, which helped. Um, but I just really wanted to find like like-minded people who share the same passions that I did. So I really made sure to get involved with student organizations, and also just don't be afraid to say yes to things. I think that's a big thing because I ended up meeting some of my very best friends that I have to this day in college through just like these random events that I went to. And, yeah, it's just, like, crazy. Like, you never know who you're going to meet. You meet all sorts of people in college. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, don't say no to going that to going to that, like, football, volleyball game, that, you know, whatever, like, midnight soccer game. Yeah. I don't even know. Just, like, random things like that. Just go do it. Why not? Exactly. Yeah. No, that's really great advice. Um, I would say, yeah, don't be afraid to say yes. Um, and also, don't be afraid to say no is another thing, too. Yes. Because, like, you can yes. totally <laughs> overbook yourself, yeah. It's so, like, be careful not to overbook yourself and try, like, you don't have to do everything. If you are, like, there can be people who are, like, scared to go out and do stuff and, like, have trouble saying yes to things. And then there's people who are, like, oh, I want to say yes to every single thing. And then, like, they get, like, burnt out. So, like, yeah. just, like, find a good balance of, like, saying yes and saying no. Um, and, yeah, like, also just know that, like, if you don't find your people your first couple of years, like, it's okay and that like you do have so many people who love you and you have so many other good friends like out there so like just know that like you are not alone if you're struggling to find that like group of people so I didn't really find my people um until like my senior year of high school so or not high school sorry senior year of college um and that was hard at first but like just know that you're not alone and that it's you're loved by so many people so yes. yeah yeah Exactly, and also study, it's... Yes, so make yeah. sure to prioritize your studies. You can't, like, in high school, it can sometimes be easy to just get off and, like, not study, like, yeah. and just, like, kind of BS your way through it, but exactly. college, it's kind of a different story. You have to know your stuff. You have to study. Yeah. And just put in a lot of time and effort outside of class. Oh, So yeah. just being able to balance that and your social life and everything else in your life is very, very important. Super important. Yeah. Okay, so quick change of locations because cookies are in the oven now. So, um, okay, favorite type of workout? Um, I would say any workout where I can go really hard and push myself. Like, obviously, I love running and lifting. So, any workout that I can do running or lifting that I can really go hard and push myself, see what I'm capable of, that's my favorite. Yeah, that's awesome. I love those workouts. Like, yeah, I definitely love the workouts where it's, like, really intense, um, just because you feel so good afterwards and, like, the endorphins, and it's just, like, a way to, like, get out stress and stuff, and just, oh, like, yeah. yes, like, as far as workouts for me, I'm just going to go off of running workouts because it's, like, things that I know. Um, I guess my favorite running workout would be a fart lick. If I'm going on, like, strength training workouts, I really like doing, like, push days. Those are my favorite. I love benching. Benching is like so it. fun. I feel yeah. so powerful when I bench. Mm -hmm. But my favorite lifting day is back and buys. Oh, yes. Back and buys. Mm -hmm. It's good. I also really like squats. Ooh, yes. Okay. Hot or iced coffee? That is very easy for me. Ice. Iced. <laughs> favorite recipe or food to eat at the moment? Peanut butter, 100%. Like, mm -hmm. I will always eat peanut butter. Like, peanut butter is the love of my life. Like, if I could just have, like, Jesus and peanut butter in life, I'd be fine. Yeah, same. Exactly. Same. Um, so as far as favorite food, I would say peanut butter. But recipe, it depends on the meal. Um, for dinners, I guess, I really have been liking, like, salmon in this. Definitely, like, check out my Instagram, I guess, for some, like, dinner ideas. But, like, definitely, like, salmon with, like, a grain or, like, a good pasta salad with, like, Trader Ooh. Joe's dressing. Oh, yes. Super good. I love pasta salad in summer. Salmon for me, definitely... Mm -hmm. Um, any type of pasta, really, like, I, you yeah. just can't go wrong with a good penne with marinara sauce mm -hmm. and chicken and veggies. That's, like, oh, a staple. Oh. Um, or big loaded salads. Big, like, a base with, like, 
romaine and spinach and then like sometimes I like to put grains in it and then like nuts and feta cheese and chicken and fruit just all the works oh yeah so good I forgot about those loaded salads are like my fave thing like always like a grain and a green and then top with like sweet potatoes oh sweet so potatoes so good mm -hmm. so good I love it is dream job so mine would be physical therapist mm -hmm. slash like trainer, personal trainer. I want to find a way to combine the two. I am, well my dream job, I'm currently uh, in grad school for clinical psychology. I, my dream job is to not only do research on, but also to work uh, clinically with kids with cancer um, and be like a psychological care provider for them. Um, and also do a lot of like psych research or just working clinically in any population or doing research. I love research, I love science so much and I love like, being with people, so. Um, favorite protein bars. If you follow us on Instagram, you know. You know the drill. Nugo. Nugo, 100%. Um, 15, when do you like to work out? I like first thing in the morning. Me too, I'm an early bird. I will work out at 6 a.m. over 6 p.m. any day. Oh, same. Yep. I would much prefer to run or lift or anything first thing in the morning. 16, something that's been making you happy. Oh, I love that Aww, question. That's awesome. Um, something that has been making me happy, I guess, is like I just moved and um, something is just like kind of like having my own place and like being independent and really like just like finding like who I am like aside from like my family and roommates because I've always lived with like roommates and stuff. Um, and like my family, so it's my first time living alone, so I guess just like establishing that independence and just like having a lot of time with Jesus recently, so. Jesus has been the number one thing that's making me happy yeah. recently, of course. All the time. He All gives the time. me my joy. Exactly. Um, but besides that, I would say my friends, I just went on a trip with them, awesome. and it was so much fun. They literally, like, they are just the most incredible people. I love them to death. Like, everyday little things, just like hot girl walks, like at sunset, those have been hitting different lately. Just, you have to find little things each day that make you happy mm -hmm. because that's what will bring you joy. Um, best advice you received when recovering from your eating disorders? Um, let's see, there's a lot of good advice I've been given throughout the recovery process, but I think my biggest piece of advice would be to embrace the discomfort because you're going to be uncomfortable. That is just mm -hmm. a given with eating disorder recovery. You're doing everything that your eating disorder is telling you not to do and that mm -hmm. is telling you is bad and evil and everything. Um, but you just have to remember that this is just so, this is such a temporary time in your life. Um, yeah, that was really good advice. I would say that like honestly one of the best pieces of advice I've received too is just like it's okay to be uncomfortable. Like the discomfort of your eating disorder. So like when you're sitting at a meal or like choosing to challenge that fear food, like the fear is not going to kill you. Like the discomfort is not gonna kill you. It's okay. Like you're gonna get through discomfort, but what will kill you is listening to that voice that tells you to be scared of the, the discomfort. You are not your eating disorder. It was really to separate yourself from your eating disorder. So there's you, you are a beloved child of God. You are so worthy and so loved and you are you, authentic you. And then there's this eating disorder, which is not a part of you, it's something else. And it's telling you lies. And every time that you listen to it, it gives it more power. And so really separating yourself from that, like you can choose to ignore your eating disorder. Like if you're aware that those thoughts are there, like you can choose whether or not you listen to it or whether you ignore it. Just remember that your eating disorder voice is a liar and a mm -hmm. thought is just a thought. Don't give it any power over you. No, exactly. Like literally thoughts are just thoughts. They don't mean anything. Like, and feelings are fleeting. Exactly. Feelings are fleeting. Teen, what brings you the most joy? Jesus, obviously. Jesus. Um, family and friends. Mm -hmm. um, helping people, working out, mm -hmm. sunsets, sunrises, um, nature, just like being in nature and like seeing the beauty of God's creation. Um, yeah, definitely Jesus. Like, I experience so much joy when I'm with others who I can really tell are investing their life in mm -hmm. Christ and are sharing the love of God and it just makes me so fulfilled and like spending time with those people is what brings me true joy and like that's why like Kaylee and I are like such good friends just because like we love Jesus and... 
Yeah, it's awesome and definitely just like spending time with my dog too. I love my dog. Holly. Um, yes, Holly. Babe. <laughs> yes. Um, running. I love love it. It brings me joy. Baking. Um, just like being with others and helping other people too. Favorite pre-workout snack or meal? For running? Anything with peanut butter and bananas with like some type of grain. I would say too for me. Um, for running, either have a Cliff Bar um, or like a Z Bar, like a Cliff Kid Bar. Um, really depends on what I'm craving that day. Or I'll have like a couple pieces of toast with banana and peanut butter. So similar to Kaylee, yeah. How to get better at running? I don't know. I haven't figured. It out. <laughs> We're still trying to figure that out. <laughs> Consistency is key. If you're looking to get faster, you've got to train faster. So doing more speed-based workouts like tempo runs and fart licks and interval training, anything that gets your heart rate up and you feel like you're working hard for an extended period of time. And strength training, I found a lot of my speed came from my increased strength training and fuel. Fuel is the biggest thing. I My times literally dropped so much once I actually started fueling my body right. Imagine that, crazy. I think those are my biggest tips I have for yeah. getting better. Yeah, that pretty much hits all of them. Um, but yeah, make sure you're like on top of like staying consistent and stuff. Like definitely strength training is so important. Feeling is so important. And keeping your easy runs easy. Mm -hmm. Heart rate low, just like cover. Exactly. And, and rest days. You need at least one full rest day. And least. sleep. Mm -hmm. Actually sleep. Don't get exactly. just like four hours of sleep and call that good. No, you need six at least six to eight hours of good seven 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 to eight hours Se seven yep. to eight hours yeah yeah rest days you need a rest day at least once a week don't skip your rest days no cross training is not rest either nope nope mm -mm. No. finally our last question we're going to answer is favorite book of the bible or verse and i love this question i would say my favorite book is romans it's just yeah yeah so it's so fun. good um it's just all it's just there's so much hope in it so much love Romans 8.28, is that like... Oh, I love that verse. I know, it's, it's so good. Okay. We're, the, we're the same. We're yeah, we're, yeah exactly. we're on the same wavelength all we the are. time. All the time. Um, that God works things all together for our good, and that like, no matter what we're going through, like, as hard as life can be, like, God is always going to bring good out of it, and just like looking at his, what he's done in the Bible and stuff, and what he continues to do in our lives is so important, because he's always, always doing something good. I also love Ephesians. I love that book, too. Oh. So you can't go wrong with the Psalms. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, there's probably, I'm forgetting a book right now mm -hmm. that I really love, but my favorite verse of all time is 2 Corinthians 12, 9, which is my power works best in weakness. And that has given me so much hope through my hardest of times. Like when I'm going through my eating disorder, when I'm going through a really rough patches with anxiety, I always come back to that verse because you know, even if I am weak, Jesus is strong and he's making me strong. Awesome. Well, that hits most of the questions, um, but we hope you enjoyed our first video. Um, you can check our Instagrams to see pictures of our cookies, how they turned mm -hmm. out. We want to thank you for baking with us and um, asking us questions. And we're so excited to give you kind of like, so, yes, the future of this channel. We're, we're going to brainstorm a more like, um, structured plan, but you can expect from us maybe like vlogs um, once a week and every other like every other person so yeah 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 super exciting stuff thank Yay. you guys so much for watching and if you have not subscribed already what are you doing go subscribe so you can join our little fam yes we need to come up with a fam name we do let us know what our fam name should be yes because that's really important Okay, um, winner. So if you guys comment our uh, fam name and we choose you, we should we should do a giveaway. Yeah, we'll do a giveaway. A giveaway, a shout out, we'll do something. Yeah. So comment your ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Bye. Bye. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you and so do we.